Hi guys, Patrick Ta here with Kim Kardashian West. We're gonna be going over Kim's flawless foundation routine. So I'm gonna start off by just cleansing and prepping her skin. I'm using Ren's 3-in-1 cleansing water to allow foundation to lay smoothly. I'm gonna take Kate Somerville's moisturizer. The more moisturized your skin is, the easier the foundation is gonna be able to lay smoothly. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using on Kim today is Armani Designer Lift. It's very buildable, so I'm gonna apply it with a damp beauty blender. I'm just evenly applying this with the beauty blender all, all over the skin. I'm gonna bring it down onto her neck too because we don't want a floating face. So for under the eyes, I'm gonna be using a Morphe G17 brush. This is gonna allow me to get really precisely like underneath her eyes any coverage. And apply the foundation right on your eyelids as well. Gonna go ahead and highlight underneath her eyes. The reason I'm using my fingers is I'm gonna, it allows the product to really like melt into the skin. I'm just gonna put this right underneath her eyes in kind of like an upside down triangle. So I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender, the smaller side, and just press all the colors in together. I'm gonna take Max 210 brush, and we're gonna use the same concealer down the bridge of her nose, on her cupid's bow, peak of her forehead, and right underneath her lips. This is a smaller blending brush, and I'm gonna use this to blend in the highlight that we just put on her nose. Because I like a really nice bright, bright highlight on Kim, I'm gonna be using Makeup Forever Lift Concealer in number one. I'm gonna apply it with a precision brush, and we're gonna use the Beauty Blender to press it in. So I'm also gonna apply this concealer down the bridge of her nose. You wanna make sure you do it in a straight line on, on the peak of the forehead, on right above the cupid's bow, and then on her chin. Go in with the beauty blender and blend it, the colors together. I'm gonna go in and contour her now. I'm using Tom Ford's Shade and Illuminate. And we're gonna put this just right in the hollows of her cheekbones. And I personally like to blend as I go. I don't like drawing lines and then blending out there. I like blending as I go. I feel like it really makes the blending easier because the product is still warm on your skin. Bring it up onto the halo of her forehead. And we're gonna put this underneath her jawline as well to give it that slimming effect. And we're gonna blend it again with the Beauty Blender. And we're gonna take a smaller blending brush. This is a MAC 239. I'm gonna put this on each side of her nose, connecting it from the top to the tip. This is really gonna give her a slimming effect. And then from there, we can blend away the middle. I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier's translucent powder in number one. I'm putting on a pretty generous amount underneath the eyes. Wherever, really wherever we highlighted, by putting this like amount of powder on is, is gonna really brighten underneath the eyes. Actually underneath the hollow of her cheekbones and apply the powder there as well to further like reverse contour. I'm gonna bring this down the bridge of the nose and the forehead and just brush away all the powder. So I'm gonna go in with a suntan matte Smashbox bronzer. Go in the hollows of the cheekbones, go underneath the chin. Because I'm using like such a fluffy brush, it really allows the, the application to be a lot more light and fluffy, so it just looks a little bit more natural. And then just on the halo of her forehead. I'm just gonna go over the application once more with my Beauty Blender and just kind of melt all the colors together. Again, because I want the, the foundation to look as natural as possible. And there you have my version of Kim's Flawless Foundation Routine.